Hello everybody, this is the George Wimmel Railway, my name is John Wimmel and welcome back. Um, here we have one of the uh, newer engines I've got, this is the Pannier tank, as you can see made by Backman. Uh, this was about £30 I think it was, remember rightly, beautiful engine, as you can see, absolute stunner. A really nice engine. And then I've got all these wagons here, these are about four to five pounds a piece, but so the detailing is incredible, these are again Backman. I uh, did get these from my uh, friends at Shelby at the um, Apme Models. Really nice, running numbers are all different. But the detail, as I say, is absolutely astounding on these. Well done, Backman. Really, really nice. I think I can uh, zoom right in. Oops, oops. Can't quite get the. That's it. Can't quite get the detail on that one there, but it is stunning detail on these. Fuel oil is SO. Really nice. And these really mixing well with my old mainline stuff, so. Yeah, really, really nice these are. Sadly, there weren't any more. I would have got, would have got some more of these. They really would have done because they really are nice. They really look realistic. And another uh, salty <laughs> guards. Well, I must have about 10 of these things there. But uh, I've got some different ones, uh, but I've got a lot of the salt, salty ones. But uh, when they're running around, you can't really tell the difference. It's it's uh, it's on the mind's eye, isn't it? Model is lost. That's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a nice little um, little train that one does. Very nice. You come up there, look. Yeah, that does look that will look nice. That one. There's the other little one there. And then the new one I got is the Lima. It's the Lima one there I got. The Hawk Swift designed one. Two survive. 210 died. Sadly. Um, it, the design of these particular engines was not good. Um, they came out at a time when they were being actually um, replaced. So even though they may have been a good engine, um, they were a waste of money. Sadly, um, they they were just made for a purpose that was not there anymore. So sadly, there was a bit of a forgotten engine. They were, as I say, the only two to survive. Uh, unlike these more successful Pioneer tanks here, which you do see an awful lot of, and a lot of them did survive right up to the modern day um, with the ones down London Transport using them on service trains. It's incredible. But they did exist and they still run on the uh, net today. Uh, you'll still see them around. So, yeah, remarkable, really. But, yeah, lovely little engine that is. Again, it's made by Bat Batman, so you know it's almost bulletproof. So, um, I say I've got a lot of these in mainline as well. I know with the, you know, with the cog issue. Um, but, again, you mix and match these, you cannot tell the difference between these and mainline. Um, so, if what I'm doing now is uh, if we do get a cog issue and I can't get any parts for them take that out and use it as like a dead put free running engine put one of these main lines in front and the other one at the back and so it's a free wheeler and it's uh, you know it's a cheap way of doing D DCC I suppose because <laughs> this is an analog railway so but I can still run two engines at um, as a double header but just the one pulling uh, which is a pretty good uh, feat on this railway because this is a 1 in 7 um, degree gradient on this track up here. It's actually quite severe, so I have to you know, run light engine trains, or at least powerful ones anyway. So, yeah, there we go. That's my first of my, um, my new um, stock and new engines. I'll be back with the uh, with some of the more new ones I've um, gone and bought in the last couple of weeks. So. Um, Keep subscribing, I'll keep pumping out the videos now. Now I've got my new camera. <laughs> so this is um, John Wormel, me, saying um, uh, thank you for subscribing and uh, I'll um, see you in the next video. So goodbye for now.